Adriosaurus is the first fossil record of vestigial limbs in lizards. It lost its hands and forearm completely in order to elongate its axial skeleton. These unique anatomical features led to discussions of the evolutionary patterns of limb reduction in squamata. The flat distal regions of the limbs could be used as paddles for very slow swimming and maneuvering. Agialosaurus is the oldest known member of the lineage leading to large Cretaceous marine reptiles called mosasaurs, a group most closely related to snakes. It was a relatively small reptile with a complete specimen measuring 65 cm their skulls are similar to the skulls of more derived mosasaurs, though the postcranial skeleton is far more similar to that of terrestrial lizards. Pananiosaurus was not a seasonal migrant from marine waters into fresh, but rather that ecologically it was a permanent member of a freshwater fauna. With its discovery, Mosasauroid evolution is now understood as also having involved important and unsuspected adaptations to freshwater ecosystems. The crocodile-like flattened was a useful adaptation for water-level ambush hunting of terrestrial and shallow water prey. Plotosaurs possessed several adaptations to marine life not seen in other mosasaurs. Compared with their relatives, they had narrower flippers, large tail fins and a streamlined fusiform body shape. This design converges with the morphology and hydrodynamic build of ichthyosaurs. Some of the tail vertebrae are fused together, unlike in most mosasaurs this is not a pathological condition but another aquatic adaptation that allowed Plotosaurus to achieve a more efficient swimming design. Globidens was uniquely adapted to take advantage of hard-shelled prey in comparison to other mosasaurs. In addition to a generally robust skull, its teeth are adapted for crushing rather than piercing or tearing. It is believed that it was a durophagous predator, eating hard-shelled mollusks. Placement of globidens and, to an extent, mosasaurity in a phylogenetic tree is somewhat unclear and specific placement of genera varies between many morphological and molecular tests. It is generally agreed that mosasaurity is a sister group to pythonomorpha, which includes all snakes. Ichthymanosaurus preserves seven teeth in various degrees of preservation which increase in size in an anteroposterior direction, except for the last tooth which is slightly smaller than the penultimate of the preserved teeth. The teeth are straight, broad cones with rounded and domed tips. In cross-section the teeth are subcircular. Kaikaifalu is thought to be a large member of the Tylosaurines, it lived in the Antarctic Circle which had no ice at this period. Asides from its size, a unique combination of other traits distinguish Kaikaifalu from its relatives. There is a prominent ridge in front of the top margin of the eye socket, and there is also a ridge between the two nostrils. It is not known why its teeth were heterodont unlike their closer relatives, but it is probably due to an unusual diet. It lived alongside the Aristonectine Plesiosaur Aristonex, and would probably have eaten it if it had the chance to. Hainosaurus is usually considered to be one of the largest known mosasaurs, however, its actual size is a subject of ongoing study. This genus is now considered obsolete by most paleontologists, who have included it in the genus Tylosaurus as a distinct species. One of the largest marine carnivores of its time, it was an apex predator that exploited the wide variety of marine fauna in its ecosystem. The Tylosaurini was approximated to have diverged from the Pliopliticarpini around 93 million years ago, 
the divergence was characterized by the highest rate of evolution among all Mosasaurid lineages. This trend of rapid evolution coincided with the extinction of the pliosaurs and a decrease in polycotylid diversity. The behavior of Tylosaurus towards each other may have been mostly aggressive, evidenced by fossils with injuries inflicted by another of their own kind. Scientists previously interpreted Tylosaurus as an anguilliform swimmer that moved by undulating its entire body like a snake due to its close relationship with the animal. However, it is now understood that Tylosaurus actually used carangiform locomotion, meaning that the upper body was less flexible and movement was largely concentrated at the tail like in mackerels. Compared to the Tylosaurs, Plyoplate carpi mosasaurs had much less robust teeth, suggesting that they fed on smaller prey such as small fish and squid. While mosasaurs are traditionally thought to have propelled themselves through the water by lateral undulation in a similar way to eels, the deep caudal fin of Platycarpus suggests that it swam more like a shark. Isotopic analysis on teeth specimens has suggested that this genus may have entered freshwater occasionally, just like modern sea snakes. The structure of the scales of Plesioplodocarpus may have been another adaptation toward a marine lifestyle. The small size and similar shape of these scales throughout the body would have stiffened the trunk, making it more resistant to lateral movement. This stiffness would have improved hydrodynamic efficiency by improving the flow of water across the body. Cerebosaurus is a small mosasaur, with the type specimen estimated at 3 meters in total body length. Preserved growth rings indicate that the holotype was a mature individual, and would have been 3 to 4 years old at the time of death. This genus has been discovered in 2023. Phosphorosaurus was small compared to most other mosasaurs, but rather standard in size for a halosaurine. Analysis of Phosphorosaurus biology suggests that this mosasaur was a deep water or nocturnal hunter, potentially preying on animals such as squid and bioluminescent fish similar to the modern lanternfish present in the same areas. Its large eyes had overlapping fields of vision, giving it depth perception, which would have given it an advantage when chasing such animals in poorly lit conditions. Studies also indicate that the animal was likely an ambush predator that would lie in wait for prey, as it was not as efficient a swimmer as larger mosasaurs. The shallow dentary and small teeth of pluridans was likely elongated relative to the rest of the head to allow for the massive battery of teeth. Due to force exerted by the lower jaw when biting against the upper jaw would decrease with the distance from the joint, the anterior teeth would have been ineffectual for biting and crushing. The jaws in some specimens are robust, and sometimes show injury suggestive of combat. Dallasaurus is one of the oldest and the smallest known mosasaur, measuring up to 1 meter in length and 2 kilograms in body mass. Bell and Paulson, two paleontologists, use the term plesiopodal to indicate a conservative ecologically adaptive grade characterized by small size, slightly modified swimming tail and relatively plesiomorphic limb condition compared to more derived mosasauroids. As carnivorous predators, Prognathodon primarily fed on a diet of fish, ammonites and other marine reptiles. They were at the top of the marine food chain during their time. It is known for its massively built jaws and teeth. Its distinct feeding adaptations have generated much interest in its ecology ever since its discovery, though direct evidence of its diet, such as gastric residues, is rare. Like all mosasaurs, it became extinct at the end of the Cretaceous period, approximately 66 million years ago, during the mass extinction event that also wiped out the non-avian dinosaurs.
Mosasaurus was a common large predator in ancient oceans and was positioned at the top of the food chain. Paleontologists believe its diet would have included virtually any animal. It likely preferred to hunt in open water near the surface. From an ecological standpoint, Mosasaurus probably had a profound impact on the structuring of marine ecosystems. Its skull was equipped with robust jaws capable of swinging back and forth and strong muscles capable of powerful bites using dozens of large teeth adapted for cutting prey. Its four limbs were shaped into robust paddles to steer the animal underwater. Its tail was long and ended in a downward bend and a paddle-like fluke. It was a predator possessing excellent vision to compensate for its poor sense of smell, and a high metabolic rate suggesting it was endothermic, an adaptation in squamates only found in mosasaurs.